When you were growing up, were there aspects, uh, maybe a particular work of art that um, of Jewish culture that was important to you? Hmm. Um, yes, uh, I'd say one thing that really turned me on to not just Jewish learning and Jewish culture, but really Yiddish literature, modern Yiddish literature, is the book uh, Debris der Ashkenazi by uh, Yud Yud Singer, I.J. Singer, the elder brother of Bashevis. Um, and I discovered that book when I was, the summer before my senior year of college at Harvard, I went to England to research um, in county archives and in the British Library um, a thesis about milkmaids um, in the 19th century in England, so sort of unrelated. But I was staying at the student dormitory in London, Bloomsbury, and in a box of books, it was sort of a lending library. You didn't, I mean, you just sort of wrote your name and took the book and then brought it back. Um, in one of the boxes yet to be shelved, I think, it was uh, that book. And I saw it, and it was a photograph of a Yiddish theater production, theatrical adaptation of the novel. It was like an old man with his daughter, and the old man was very wizened with a beard, and there were candles. And I thought, wow, this really looks like something interesting. And I read it, and I didn't finish reading it when I left England, and I actually forgot to return it to the <laughs> library, so it's still in my collection. And um, I do sort of feel bad about that, but I also feel like, in a way, entitled to it. Like this book is kind of my Yerusha, my inheritance as um, a Jew. I mean, receiving this, it was kind of like... Um, Beshert. Yeah, Beshert, <laughs> exactly, because it really turned me on to Yiddish literature, which I now um, consume a lot of and love. And that was the first example of it that I've read in my very favorite and one of my favorite novels of all. What do you mm. like about it? Um, I'd say, well, on the one hand, the Yiddishkeit and the, the feeling for the Jews of that time in Europe, the sort of social observations that you get, because that's not a world that I've ever seen that I'll ever see, and no one will ever see, because it's, um, it'll never be the same and was, you know, destroyed. But you can see it in novels like that that have such a clear human eye for what was happening in the world around them as they wrote. Um, and to read it is like being back there. And that's a wonderful thing to me with all of its beauty, but also all of its ugliness. Um, you get a lot of that in I.J. Singer, Jews treating each other horribly. Um, but that was the reality. It wasn't, you know, a perfect, you know, idyllic shtetl life like you'd see in, you know, a musical or something. 